So my wife and I have been keeping chickens for a couple of years now. Uh, we live right in the middle of Dallas in the city and we just wanted to put a little video together, show you how easy it is and uh, give you a couple pointers. Uh, if you have any questions, ask in the comments. First thing every morning I come out here and open up the chicken coop. Look how excited they are to get out. Let us out. There they go. And I'll just check to see. Make sure they have plenty of water, plenty of food. And see if we need to clean out their floor in there. Looks pretty clean. No eggs yet. So. That's it. So I've been mowing the lawn, and I like to do what they call the deep bedding method in the run part of my coop. See right now, it's been a while since I mowed the backyard, so right now it's just a bunch of mulch and stuff. The little hole back there is where the water drains out. But uh, I'm going to dump all this grass in there. Chickens love it. It's great for them. Uh, they love to scratch around in there, turn it into compost. And so I just dumped it all in there. I take my little rake and just spread it all out. And I'll get in there and eat whatever they want in there. and They like it. So let's get it all spread out. And I've got lots more to mow, so just spread that out a little bit there. Chickens will be happy. What's that you say in there? Y'all in there, in there laying some eggs? Yeah! Alright, so I just stuck a second bag in there. It's all nice and green. Chickens are going to get in here, stir it around and poop in it and turn it into compost. They love it. It's the deep bedding method. Works good. Yeah, here's a quick tour of the coop. We built this ourselves. No plans or anything, just searched around on the internet. Kind of figured it out, decided what we wanted to do and did it. Uh, start with the door. This door right here, actually, latches right there, got a little handle on it. Uh, this door came from our house, actually. Uh, it came off the back of our house. Uh, we weren't using it. We got a dog door on the back door, so we figured it would be great on our chicken coop. It turned out to be real nice. Alright, so then, staying with the uh, door theme. This is how I cleaned it out. Uh, I stick a big Rubbermaid tub right there in front of it. Just open up this door. We disturbing you uh, and just rake out all that it's cedar chips in there that's good for uh, you know repelling bugs and uh, kind of masking the odor of chickens they don't stink too bad um, as long as you keep this nice and clean there's a little poop in there under the roost uh, but I just stick a rake in there rake it all out into a Rubbermaid right there I'll show you that later a little egg box there and I have uh, paper, uh, shredded paper in there. We like to lay in that, it's nice and soft. And then, well, I'll probably show you this from the outside, it'll be better, but up there, there's a, uh, a heating element uh, that plugs into a light socket. And uh, I've got it wired up. So I'll run an extension cord out here if it gets really, really cold. Uh, I'll turn that on for them. Uh, Got a little window on here. Need to get another piece of trim for the bottom. But that's my little window. Opens and closes. If it's hot, it's good ventilation for them. Ventilation's real important. Work our way around here. It's the egg box. Uh, you saw it when we got an egg out of there. And 
It's got little eye holes here. Uh, just a carabiner on there to keep it shut, and then a little latch. Um, you know, anything you can do to keep raccoons out. They say if a, if a three-year-old can get in, then a raccoon can get in. We got more ventilation up here. I never painted that uh, backside there, but it's okay. Shuts just like that. And open it up when it's uh, warm and not raining. Work our way around inside. Showed you the deep bedding method already. Got their little ramp. And uh, let me just show you how I put this thing together. I used a, uh, a pocket hole jig, uh, Craig jig, uh, to put the whole thing together. Made it great. And then right underneath, I just got the uh, food bucket hanging there. And a little water, water thing. It came off the hook. Uh, so I just set it on a cinder block. Works out for now, but we're going to make an automatic waterer. Be sure to watch that in another video. All right, and then you see, well, this is one of my favorite little things we did. If it's real cold, we can, I can just shut that there. But in the summer, warmer months, I'll leave it open for them. Uh, and you can see the wiring for that element. There it is right there. Wire comes out. Just kind of ran it around. Let me get in here. Goes down and then out to the outside of the cooch. And I just got a little plug on there. Got some spider webs and stuff on it, but haven't used it this year. We had a very mild winter. But just plug it in and warms them up a little bit. But then we got a good old tin roof on there. Keeps them dry. If you're thinking about building a coop, uh, maybe I can make a video about how to build one. It took us, I don't know, three or four days. And uh, we worked pretty hard on it. But that's our coop. Hope you All like right, it. Today we're going to clean out the chicken coop. I'll show you how to do it. It's real simple, pretty quick and easy. all my chicken coop supplies in here. Got cedar shavings. Uh, that bag's like eight bucks. And then we have um, shredded paper for the uh, where they lay their eggs. So I'll show you how I do it. Set that right there. Break it all out. Put down linoleum floors in there. Uh, it's like a fake hardwood. Now all that white stuff is diatomaceous earth. Kills off any, uh, I guess, exoskeleton insects, mites, and spiders, and ants, and whatnot. But uh, that stuff helps out. But then you just take all this stuff and throw it in your compost, or throw it away, or whatever you want to do with it. And then uh, we'll put some fresh stuff in here. This diatomaceous earth right there helps uh, keep the bugs out. Just kind of spread it around in there. There's already a bunch in there, so we don't need much. Just a little layer of 
do. So you can get this stuff at the uh, at your local nursery. It's real fine powder. They also helps keep out bugs. So I'll just pour that in there. Spread it around. enough in there for, I don't know, a couple lunches more. See it in there? Maybe a little too much, but let's take our rake and spread it around. Yeah, maybe a little too much, but it's alright. Chicken's like it. Nice clean chicken coop. <laughs> alright, so that's it for the inside. Now we'll uh, put some of this stuff in the, uh, in the egg box. I'll just leave that stuff in there and put some fresh uh, paper right on top of it. Enough for some padding for them in there so they're comfortable. That's probably good. And I'll get in there and lay their eggs and be happy. Lately, one of our chickens has been uh, hopping the fence into the neighbor's yards, into the alley, and it uh, you know, doesn't cause any harm, but it might get on the neighbor's nerves. So, I'm going to show you how to cut her wings. She happens to be in here right now. Uh, she may get, be getting a little broody, so let me see if I can get her out of here and cut a wing. There she goes. She's in here now. She knows I'm up to something. So, let's see if we can get a wing that's been cut. Well, they're all grown back. So what we're looking for, you can see there's two layers of, uh, of feathers there. These outer, outer feathers are their flight feathers. And you just want to cut off the ends of those. Um, don't get up too close. Don't get up too high. Uh, you can cut their, you know, make them bleed and uh, really injure them. So, let's see if I can do this without any assistance. Might be kind of tricky. Yeah, Nancy, go on. You want to do it? Just go. See whether there's already kind of a cut. Okay. Just, yeah. Not too close. There we go. Just cut one wing so they're kind of, uh, you know, asymmetrical. They I mean, can't get enough uh, lift to get over the fence, but they can still get a little bit of lift. 
and they're just fine. They're on the bed. About sunset every night, they go to bed by themselves. Get up in the coop and go to their roosts. Probably, I guess, a little after sunset. There she is, up on her little window. There she goes. what they're doing inside there. I like to hang out on their little window there. I like to talk too. Alright, so we'll just shut the door. I'm pet him good night. So, all you have to do is shut the door every night. Let's see if we got any eggs. This one looks like, I think it's lilies. I think. Kind of greenish. greenish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, one egg for the day. You can't really see the color. Got so, one. what's the best thing about keeping backyard chickens? Fresh, organic, cage free, grass fed eggs. Hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe.